Okay, EXP here and welcome back to a little tutorial on setting up fabric. Now there's a few things that we're going to go over first before even getting into that, so just bear with me. The first thing you're going to want is your app percent app folder. I said that completely wrong. Your app, your percent app data percent folder. Now there are other ways to find this if that doesn't work i think the main one is if you go into local disk and then go into your user and then show hidden files how did i do that now view show hidden items yep let me go into our profile and it will come up and it should be just there you do need to see the hidden files first. Once you're here, just go into roaming and find Minecraft. Copy this folder onto your desktop. That is going to make things a lot easier in the long run. Now, one thing you could do is if you open this up and go down to mods, you can also copy this folder. As you can see, I've got an awful lot here already, so we're not going to do that right now. In fact, I should probably move them so this is empty. So that folder is now empty. Now, yours will probably look a lot different to that because you haven't got things done yet. So the first thing we are going to do is open up the internet. And if I drag this over here, we can go to Google. And we can search for fabric 1.21.1 now the whichever version you want is the one that you're going to search for but we want this one and it's going to bring up the fabric page we click on this and then all we're going to want to do is download for windows uh, i'm assuming everyone's on windows if not download universal jar and you should be able to do it with mac or linux but this one i'm focusing on windows we press that we save that wherever we want whether that's in your downloads whether that's in a specific folder, it doesn't matter as long as you know where it is. I'm going to put it in this 1.21. No, I'm not. That's the one that I've just put everything else into. Idiot. I'm going to put it into setting up fabric. This is the one I made for it. So we'll save it there. It'll download and then it's done. So you can close out of the launcher for now. And we'll open up what we've just done, which is this. Ignore that. That's this video currently recording. So I know where it is. Uh, it'll ask what version you want to install. Okay, so that's useful. So you install the one that you want. I'm not going to do that now because I already have it installed, but it would be 1.21.1. You want to save it into there, install, and then go through the process of it already done. Uh, once that's done, if you then load up Minecraft itself, and you should get this here now. If you go down into this little button, you'll have a fabric one. If you don't, I can't remember if this comes first or not. What you'll want to do is load up the API, which is what we was looking at just. So back here, we'll go down to this, and most mods will require you to install Fabric API. So that's what we're going to do next. And then you'll click on whichever one you want. If we go to Files, you'll need the one for the appropriate version. So if you look at the title, we're going to want 1.21.1. ,1. So we make sure that's the one that we're downloading. So we'd click on that and download not install download uh, you'll come to here eventually it will just start downloading there we go so setting up fabric is where we want it so we save that there and that's done now after you've done that if you load it up you go back into minecraft you load up this you need to do this first before doing anything else just to make sure you've got everything where you need it and it will bring up the version if you get to this point, you've done it already, you're fine, you know, you can carry on. If you get an error message, then it might be that you're running the wrong version. But I don't think you can get an error message at this point simply because you haven't added any mods. So this is what mine looks like now because there is literally nothing in that mods folder. As soon as you start putting things together, you'll get different results. So the next thing we are going to do is head back over to here. We're going to go back. You can either search in here or you can search back on Google. Ideally, you want to either use CurseForge or Modrinth. Those are the main two. There's also Planet Minecraft and a few others that I'd trust. But ultimately, these are where you want to be. So if we go back and then we're going to search for sodium. Of course, 
salt. Uh, sodium Minecraft. That's all you need to type in. And this will bring you to Mod Thrinth or to CurseForge. Neither of them matters really, but seeing as we've just shown you how to use CurseForge, you'll go on to the Sodium one because it's a slightly different user interface. So you want to make sure, again, that you're getting the one you want. We don't want NeoForge, we want Fabric. But which version is this? This is for 1.21.2, so we don't want that. We want the 1.21.1. And then we'll press the download button. And again, straight into there. And then next on the list, if we go to Lithium. And do the same thing. Again, we want 1.21.1. .1. Um, this one is still in beta. I don't know if that's a better version than this one. Either of these should work. So I'll just download either. I'm going to do this because it is a full version and not a beta version. And then if you wanted any other mods, such as if you wanted to add shaders, which if you're running a potato, I wouldn't. You're going to want Iris as well. Iris shaders. So... You can either go to their website or you can once again just go to any of these. So if we go to versions and we're going to want 1.20, not 20.1. We want 21.1. So this one is the one we're going to want. And then that allows you to use shaders. Now I believe that is all you need. You might need something else for the shaders to work. I can't remember, but... I'm about to do this as a live run, so you'll be able to see. Oh, mod menu. Very important one, that is. So just type up in here. Fabric mod menu. I say important. It's not actually that important. It will work without, but this just allows you to see the mods in your game. So we go to versions. We go to 1.21 to 1.21. To 1.21.1 so that's the one we want for fabric and quilt yep download and again if there's any mods that take your fancy or anything at all that you want to include you can download them from one of those two websites and it should be fine for the most part so where is this here this is what everything we've downloaded now we can ignore that this one that looks like a little banner but all these are the ones that are little java uh, pictures move them into your mods folder over here so if I just do that quickly there we go I'm gonna close that and we'll launch Minecraft make sure that Minecraft isn't running while you're doing this it won't hurt it it's just you'll have to close out of it and load it up again anyway so the fabric loader 21.1 Let's play. You'll also get an error message the first time you play this and load it that says something like, this is a edited one. Okay, so what is the problem? Okay, so I've accidentally downloaded the wrong iris. So I'm just going to delete that now because that's 1.20.2. So that's what's caused the crash, I believe. And let's try again. As I was saying, when you click that, you'll have an error message, not an error message, a warning message pop there just saying this has been messed with. That's fine. Then we know it's been messed with. That's what we're doing. We're messing with it. And there it has loaded no problem. And as we can see, we now have this mod menu, which is telling us what we've got installed. Which so far is the mod menu, lithium and sodium. And those are the main ones for making the game run a lot smoother no the ones you can add there's one that's called lazy p u d i think or phd or something like that but i advise against that if you're going to be changing versions because basically what it does is tells them not to check the chunks and to be lazy when it comes to the checking of them so when you update it can cause errors it's just not worth running unless it's going to be on the same version forever right if there's any other questions please let me know down below or you know just Ask me in Discord, seeing as this is mostly for friends. <laughs> okay, Terraria bit.